Hello everyone and welcome back to Wellness Wednesday. Today I'm gonna talk about a special request that we have and that's some holds for PMS. So um, that's when we're about to get into our uh, moon cycle and a lot of uh, women suffer from low mood, low energy, maybe some discomfort. So I would like to share with you some different holds that will support uh, our system in that. And so I was thinking about what the best uh, ones were to share with you. And what came to mind were the toe flows because they are really for the critical needs of the body, really supporting our system and really boosting our energy. So those are liver, kidney, spleen. And I just wanted to share with you the first steps of these uh, flows. And uh, the full flows are in the art of Jinshin and also in the core. So you can definitely look them up there. And let's start with the kidney flow. And that is one of my favorites. It's a really comforting, um, helps with anxiety, um, helps to kick anxiety rather than helping it. So harmonizing any kind of, you know, of these kind of feelings in our body and really grounding us. So let's start by placing one hand on our little toe. And I'm just gonna put up my leg for you a little bit. I like to really get in there. So I'm kind of twisting my thumb in there into the inside of the toe and then placing my fingers here on the outside and then go deep on the bottom on the base of it and see what it feels like. Um, very likely it can be a little bit tender and then the other hand will place it on the pubic bone. So just take a few breaths here. Um, just take a few breaths and the kidney flow is really wonderful also for our back because uh, there is a part actually that moves up the back very close to the spine so great for spinal projects but particularly um, as it starts in the little toe and then moves up on the inside of the leg and then crosses at our and moving through the reproductive organs so the kidney flow is very important for any uh, project with our reproductive organs. So by all means, this is for both women, men, um, any kind of gender. So, you know, please follow along whoever you are. So let's take another breath here. And just feel how the little toe opens up. How the energy begins to move. Very nice. Let's take one more deep breath here, exhaling and letting go of everything we don't need. And then just feel that a little toe one more time to see if it has changed. Maybe it's a little bit uh, thinner, the little toe, when I, I always feel for how thick it is and I always go to the side that feels thicker a little bit more congested so we're always looking for the transformation uh, in the locations in the fingers in the toes and working with that very good so now gently let go and now we will go to the liver flow the first step of the liver flow is we will place one hand on the back of the head at location number four and the other one on the opposite 22. That's the first step of the liver flow. The liver flow also starts in the toes, begins in the big toe, moves up on the inside of the leg and then also crosses uh, through the lower part of our bodies, uh, moving uh, also close or through the reproductive organs. Liver flow is also wonderful if you are a person uh, on your cycle, if you have very heavy bleeding or not too much. Um, the liver flow harmonizes our blood in our body. So for heavy menstrual uh, flows, you can use the liver flow. So with the four, we're helping, we're helping energy to ascend, to move up. And then with 22, helping the energy to descend with the exhale. So inhale with the four and exhale with 22. This is also very important for our eyes. I like how these flows help so many different things. And 
we're harmonizing our system on many different levels. Very nice. Gently let go and briefly do the other side. Just take three breaths. And there's always one side that feels a little bit better or more comfortable. So go to that side. It's usually the side that is in need and we really innately know where to go. So trust that. Trust your instinct. Trust your intuition. Trusting you. It's very important. Also in life, when we bring the art of Jinshan in our life and the philosophy, it's how important is it to trust ourselves. And this is a nice way to practice. And then gently let go. Um, then I would like to share with you the first step of the spleen flow, which is holding the tailbone and then on the inside of the, of the ankle bone. And we will show that to you there, the inside of the ankle bone. So the ankle bone is here and five, location number five is right below it. So you can sit cross-legged or even you can lie down like this and get this, you know, that's very comfortable getting the five in a figure four like this. So at any time make yourself comfortable. So again, the first step of the spleen flow is um, wonderful. Also moving through this lower abdomen area, crossing it to coccyx very close to our reproductive organs. The kidney flow is really the one that moves through our, all of our reproductive organs, but the kidney and the spleen, they also move right by it. So spleen flow is also great to just boost our general energy, to boost our immune system, and many more things. Very nice. So if you practice these flow that really will prepare our bodies uh, for new cycles, for moon cycles, boosting our entire system. And so I think that will be helpful to prepare your body for any change, any big change. And in this case, preparing your body for to receive our menstrual cycle. So I also want to share with you one hold to um, to harmonize uh, pain if you have stomach cramping. Um, actually, there's going to be three simple holds. So, uh, Tanya, can you just adjust the camera? So the first one is to place your thumbs together and holding the belly like this. This will bring the energy in. So if you have pain, overall pain, bringing the thumbs together and pointing the fingers down. Now, if you have a pain that needs to be dispersed, so a localized pain, you can do it like this and bring your thumbs apart. If you're not sure, you can see which one feels better. And then one more that's very effective for cramping. Is, I'm gonna turn around for you. <laughs> Make sure I have a pretty look, Tanya, please. <laughs> so the coccyx and the lower back right here. So you can hold like this. It's right on a low 23. This is 23 and we go a little bit lower. So this is wonderful for menstrual cramps. Yeah, so that's our Wellness Wednesday for today. Thank you all so much for joining and I will see you really soon.